Hey guys, I'm Matt Asplund and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to create and set up a better jump animation and a looping jump animation. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So what you might have at the moment is something like this. When you press space, you have a jump animation a little bit like this. It's not perfectly in timed for when you jump up and when you jump down and you land and everything. It's not perfectly timed and also if you were to jump off of a high object for example this is obviously an extreme example if you jump off a high object you might have your animation loop so your jump animation loops as you're falling it doesn't really look how you would expect a jump animation to look in mid-air and then if i were to close this i can show you what it is that we're going to create today as well as an alternative for that so now you can see that when i press jump what we're going to have is a different timed animation so it's going to start and loop and end perfectly for no matter how long of a jump we are taking so you can see if we jump from up here it's going to loop that idle animation before playing the end and if i were to jump from all the way up here you can see that no matter how long we're falling for we're going to have that animation looping perfectly but just the falling part not the actual starting and ending as well which you would have ordinarily had and i'll also go over at the end of this video as well how to make the animations look even nicer and even better because you might not fully like how this looks but that is based purely on the animations not the system what we're going over today is fixing the system so the animations aren't looping inappropriately and they match perfectly the length of the jump no matter how long it is. So this is what we're we'll going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've set it up. So what we're going to want to do is we want to open up our animation blueprint. So for me, that's going to be content browser, hit control C, content, SWAT character, animations, ABP SWAT. But just open up your animation blueprint for your character. Then we're going to want to go straight over to the anim graph and then your state machine and you'll probably have something which looks a little bit like this. So you probably just have your idle, walk, run, blend space or just three separate states. However you've got it set up, then you probably just have one jump state coming from this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this jump state, then drag out of where I want to be able to jump. So for me, that's my idle, walk, run, blend space. But for you, this could be just your idle state, just your walk, run state, whatever it is drag out of that for where you want to be able to start jumping and then add a state and we want to call this one jump start or jump up whatever makes the most sense for you then we're going to drag out of this one and add a state adding jump loop or jump idle i think i'm going to do actually that makes more sense for me then drag out of this one add a state and add jump end or jump land and then this jump end is going to go back into your idle walk run state or again whatever you started from so we're going to have a little loop which looks like this. You go from your idle state to your jump start, from a jump start to your jump idle, your jump idle to your jump end, and your jump end back to your idle state. So we're going in a loop like this instead of just going immediately from idle to jump and back to idle again. We're adding in another two states here just to make it look a lot nicer. And so now because we now have three states, we obviously need three separate animations. So if I open up my content browser, I'll show you the animations which we've got. So you will be starting off with just originally having this one animation for jumping up like so. What I've got is basically this animation split up into three. Now what I haven't done is I haven't actually taken this animation and split it up because that would have taken too long and might not have even looked that good anyway. So what I've done is I've got separate animations. So I've gone on mixmo.com. And I've got a jump start animation like this, which is simply just jumping up like this. I've then got a jump idle, which is simply just falling and in the air like this. And then I've got a jump end, which again is just landing. So we've now split the jump animation into three separate stages like so. And you're going to want to do this as well. Again, I've got these off of mixmo.com for free, but these are the different animations that you need. You don't need these specific ones, but these ones which look best for me. Back in our animation blueprint, we're going to want to double click to open up our jump start and simply add in our jump start animation. We'll go back, jump idle, it's going to be our jump idle animation, and then go back and jump end is going to be our jump end animation. Simple as that. Now we need to do our transitional states. So let's double click the transitional rule from our idle state into our jump start. In here, this is going to be just what we normally have for jumping. And that's going to be is falling or is jumping or is in air, however you have it set up and just connect that straight into the result. So can end transition if the player is falling or if they are jumping. We'll go back 
and then our transitional rule for jump start to jump idle we can just click on it and then what we can do is tick automatic rule based on sequence player in state so if we tick that what this is going to do is essentially when this animation finishes in jump start it's then going to automatically go into jump idle which is absolutely perfect for us then we'll double click and open up our transitional rule from jump idle to jump end and this is going to be our normal jumping end and that is going to be is falling or is jumping is in there whatever you have going into a not boolean and then that is going to go into our can enter transition so if we are no longer falling we're no longer jumping we want to stop playing the idle animation and then jump end back to idle that transitional rule is again going to be ticking the automatic rule based on sequence player in state we compile save that and that is it done it is incredibly incredibly simple to do and set up we just need three separate animations and then telling it to start the jump start animation when we start jumping as soon as that animation finishes it's going to go into our jump idle and that jump idle will play until we land and then it will immediately play our jump end animation and once that is finished it will automatically go back to our idle so let's minimize this and hit play to test it out and see it working if i had to hit space you can see we're going to jump up have our idle animation and then we're going to land so that already looks a little bit better with our timing and also if we're going to have a big jump you should see it plays that idle animation in the air as well perfectly like so and let's take our extreme jump again all the way from up here and then let's see that one in action too we'll play from here and then we'll jump all the way off and you'll see we're playing that jump loop idle animation in the air until we land so you can see this already looks a lot better than our other animation now it might not look perfect it might not look amazing that's just because we're using free animations from Mixmo. Obviously, you can get your own custom animations perfect for your character and have them set up a lot nicer and a lot better. However, the timing and the looping and the staying in the air for as long as you want is now perfectly working and set up. So no matter how long of a jump you are taking, no matter how long or how short, we're going to have this set up perfectly. So it is going to match the length and time of our jump as well. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. And what we've done is we've set up a jump animation in which we can be in the air for as long as we want and have the animation not repeat, not start again. And the timings just work a lot better and a lot nicer for what we want. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you did find it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel out a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.